Before we get back to calculating more ratios, let's spend some time understanding the accounts that make up working capital. There are two common definitions of working capital. In the broadest sense, working capital is defined as current assets less current liabilities. While this is the case and generally accepted, common financial knowledge, there is a more narrow and focused definition, which is to say that working capital is equal to three accounts, accounts receivable, inventory, and accounts payable. It's these three accounts that denote the operating activities of a company. Using these three accounts, a formula for working capital can thus be adjusted to be inventory plus accounts receivable minus accounts payable.